This video is a guide for JPs and CDEX when certifying copies of documents. You must always cite the source document from which a copy was made. This could be the original document, a copy of the original, a web page and so on. First, check that no alterations have been made to the copy of the document. Then double check the names, dates and reference numbers. Now you can certify the copy, you should write this is to certify that this is a true copy of the original, which I have cited, then add the date, sign the document, add our name and registration number, and finally stamp the document with your official seal. Check if the document is to be signed on oath, affirmation, or by way of statutory declaration. Check the signatory is the person named in the document, ask for proof of identity. Confirm the date throughout the document is the same as the date on which you are witnessing. Read through the document for alterations, spaces or omissions. A. Both you and the signatory should initial any changes, including correction fluid or tape. B. Decline to witness material you know to be false. Cross out or ask the signatory to complete any unanswered fields, then both of you should initial them. Check for annexers and mark them. A. If the annexers are for an affidavit under the Uniform Civil Procedures Rules 1999, then both you and the signatory must also sign them. Warn the signatory they must tell the truth. Administer the oath, affirmation or statutory declaration. Ask the signatory to sign the document in front of you. Sign the document and insert your registration number wherever a signature is required. Place your seal of office close to wherever you have signed either beneath or besides but never over the signature. A. If the signatory has asked you to not check the document, state this in writing before signing. Enter all relevant details in your log book. This video has covered the process for JPs and CDEX certifying a copy. For more information, contact Asset College or read Chapter 3.1 of the JP Handbook.